Hey everyone, welcome to Family Adventures on Trikes. Recently we've been getting a lot of questions on why we ride the trikes. So in this episode we decided to answer some of the most common questions, such as... Uh, What's it like? Is it better than a bike? Is it safe? Um, can you ride it anywhere? Are they slow? Oh, can they go uphill? Yes, of course. <laughs> Is it easier to transport kids? Give it a try. Mm. And definitely, would we recommend it? Okay, that one is kind of obvious. Okay, so the most obvious thing about these trikes is that they are comfortable. You are sitting like in a chair, relaxed, your arms are relaxed, your wrists are relaxed. Even when you are riding, there is no pressure on your hands at all. Uh, also, your back is in a natural position as well as your neck. Uh, for me, it's very important because I sometimes have neck problems and on the bike, your head is often like that in a weird position. While on a trike, it's usually just natural. Another thing is that uh, you are completely open to the front. You have a wide view of nature around you, of your surroundings. You can easily watch left and right. Uh -huh. And uh, you're always open in this uh, so-called victory position. You are not crunched as, on a, as you would be on a normal bike. So another point is the stability. On three wheels, you are obviously much more stable than on two wheels. For example, if I try to fall, there's <laughs> almost no way to do it on purpose. Obviously, you can fall from a trike, but you should really try hard to do that. You can also uh, ride with only one hand very easily without any pressure again, and also with your hands lifted. Although I wouldn't recommend that for a longer ride. But you can still like take something from your pocket, eat, uh, take a look at your phone or something like that. I just got the map and see. Uh -huh. So this way, then turn right and that's it. And if you have a cool map, as we have it, uh, you can also see the landmarks. Bye bye! again with the same map, map but on the bike. I don't recommend this, just for the record. So, you can just see. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit difficult. There's no place to put the bike. Okay. Oh! Stop it! On the trike, you never have this problem. You just break and get up. That's it. Of course, you can also ride a standard bike on uh, any terrain, not just the trikes. But uh, I want to say that uh, over the past few months, uh, we have tried riding the trikes on various terrains. And in our opinion, they are much more adaptable than a standard bike. Uh, you might argue that it's because uh, our trikes are fully suspended, while our bikes are not. And that might be a valid point. But I think it's also because uh, of the stability that the three wheels give you. Like you can easily ride on gravel, on dirt, through the field, and uh, you can ride at slow speed and never fear that you will lose balance. Okay, so uh, for example, check out this example. Uh, you're on a bike and you want to start from zero uphill on a slippery terrain. Uh, this can be quite tricky on a bike because sometimes uh, it's just, it's just okay. very hard to start. The same thing on a trike, no problem at all. You're sitting 
or you just sit down and you go. That's it. <laughs> and then there's downhill. If you don't have a table and a chair in the nature, you can always use the trike. At least for two little person. And maybe for the third one. <laughs> and uh, when we're there, you can also use it to read a book or just to relax. And this is definitely something you cannot do on a regular bike. Okay, uh, then if we're talking about uh, riding a trike in the city, there are also some matters that we need to consider. First, uh, the trike is quite a bit wider than a bike. But uh, then again, if we check our trailer, it is almost uh, the same width as the trike, which uh, gives some nice features. For example, if we want to pass through some place that is quite narrow, like here, when you're on a trike, if your front wheels pass, <laughs> then uh, usually the trailer will just pass as well. While on a bike, it can sometimes be more complicated. Then there are also some other issues, uh, like turning around. Uh, on a trike, you need quite a bit more space to make uh, the smallest circle. And, of course, walking the trike. <laughs> With the bike, it's obviously much easier <laughs> you can also do it with one hand in our experience so far the trikes are a bit slower than the bikes as we usually use them for touring on our bike tours uh, we used to have uh, an average speed of like 18 kilometers per hour while on the trikes it was more like 15. Uh, in order to test the, the speed difference, uh, we decided to make a little race and see who wins. Uh, this time I will ride the bike and Andrew will ride the trike since he's usually much faster than I am and we'll see who wins. Okay, ready, steady, go! What I miss on the trike concerning the speed is uh, that you can't jump or stand up uh, on a trike as you would on a bike and uh, by that increase your speed or just push a little more on uphill or something like that. And then there's safety. Uh, people are usually afraid that you are not visible on a trike uh, because you are so low to the ground and that someone will just not notice you and, and hit you. But actually, so far, we didn't have any such problem. And uh, our impression is that actually the cars overtake on a much greater distance than they would on a normal bike. Uh, probably it's because you are wider, you take um, more space than usual visually on the road. And maybe they are not sure how to overtake you. And usually they will just switch the lane and, and overtake in a bigger turn. Where we live in Serbia, there are not many bike lanes especially outside of the city or between cities. And uh, so we are usually forced to go on uh, regular roads and often on very busy roads. So far, we didn't have any problem concerning the safety on the road. What is important when we are talking about safety is that you should definitely have a flag. The flag should be very visible, preferably in bright colors and big enough so that other participants in the traffic can easily spot you and to avoid any problem. So far we have only these two little flags, but we are hoping to get some new ones soon. During our summer trip we used some of our clothes, which we attached with just a simple clothes pin. It started by chance because we had some uh, swimming suits which were always wet and we just wanted to dry them and we attached them to our flag poles and then we saw that they are really visible and they increased our safety impression. 
The only thing that still scares me when we're talking about safety in traffic is uh, when there are some parked cars on a parking lot and uh, you are going behind them. Especially if it's getting dark and the visibility is low, often they wouldn't even notice you on a regular bike and uh, on a trike you are practically invisible. So if you are in such a situation that you are passing a parking lot where someone can come out unexpectedly, Please uh, be careful and uh, watch out for the cars that are planning to leave. There's another thing concerning the safety of tracks. If you watched our previous videos, you might have seen that sometimes I ride in my normal shoes, my favorite docks, and I do that, but only around town. And uh, when I know that the ride will be just, just a short one, Because actually, on a trike, it's always better to use the clipless shoes and join your foot to the pedal. Because it might be actually very dangerous to ride in your normal shoes, especially if they are some slippery ones. Because your shoe can easily slip and your leg can end up here, just under the front base of your trike which might be a very big problem if you're going faster than I am now. And now a thing which you can do with a bike. <laughs> there is this fun moment that you can steer like that. And generally riding a trike is just so much fun and uh, they say there is something called the trike smile or the trike dream meaning that everyone who is riding a trike always smiles like it's too much fun and it's not comparable to anything else and uh, how about you what do you like or don't like on a trike or do you prefer a bike you can tell us in a comment in the comment section down below and if you liked our video, please support us by giving us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.